Hey there, Becca here from Inside the Square. In this tiny tutorial, I'll teach you how to edit a page section in your Squarespace website. You can start with a template or a blank page section. It doesn't matter because all the content can be changed, and you can also reorder a section after you've created it. We're gonna explore the format, the background, and the colors, and all of that can be done when we hop into edit mode. On the top left-hand side of your site preview, select edit, and you'll see inside this page, anywhere you see the add section button right here, click on that and you can add a new section. Start with a pre-made one or add a blank one, it genuinely doesn't matter. Let's go ahead and start with this one. From here, we can reorder our sections. Let's say we want this at the bottom. I can keep clicking this down arrow until it's underneath all of the other sections on that page or move it back up. You can also duplicate a section by clicking on this button and edit the section settings by clicking here. If I select that option, I can change the height, making it small, medium, large, or a custom height where I can drag the slider to the left or right to adjust it or enter a number. I can do the same with width, small, medium, and large. And here I can drag this as well to change the width of the page. Here we can adjust the alignment, top, middle, bottom, left, center, or right. And then here on this next option, we can change the background. You can either delete this image or replace it or upload a video from a YouTube or Vimeo link. And here you can also change this to be full bleed where it reaches all the way to the edges of the page section or inset. Adjusting this slider will adjust the opacity of the color overlay. And speaking of colors, let's navigate over to the colors section. Here you can change to a different color theme available from your site settings. Whatever color theme you select, it will change the text buttons, any content on here to be styled in the way that you've set the style for that particular color theme in your site styles menu. Let's click out of here. I'll show you how we got there one more time. You can add a section by clicking on that option wherever it pops up. Pick any pre-made section that you'd like or add a blank one. And after you've added the section, use these arrows to reorder them on your site moving them up or down in relation to other page sections. You can duplicate the section or click this icon right here to edit the section. You can change the height to small, medium, large, or something specific. You can change the width to small, medium, large, or again, something specific. And here you can adjust the alignment to the top, middle, bottom, left, center, or right. And if you navigate to background, this is where you can upload an image change it to full bleed or inset, or link to a video on Vimeo or YouTube. You have a lot of other options for video there, so definitely explore those if that's the way you're going. For colors, this is where you select one of your pre-made color themes from your site styles menu, and that'll change all of the content to match the color settings that you've already selected for that particular color theme. When you're all done, select save and you'll be good to go. For more tiny tutorials like this one, visit insidethesquare.co.